Recently, Donald Trump called out Barack Obama for uh, for costing a charity of his choice five million dollars for not uh, um, getting out his college transcripts and giving them to him where he can like you know dance around them or something. I don't know. Anyway, I've got a question to ask uh, um, uh, uh, Donald Trump. My question is, why? You you know he was born in the United States of America, don't you? He was born in Hawaii. There's like lots and lots of proof that he was born in Hawaii. And yet you still keep on demanding lots and lots of information. Like, uh, oh yes, you wanted his birth certificate and that wasn't good enough. And then you asked for his long form birth certificate. And then he killed Osama bin Laden, and then he went and, uh, and, and gave you his birth certificate, and then you said it was fate. Now, and, and, and what would, um, okay, let's say, let's say, for example, that, uh, that he did give you his uh, um, college transcript, or whatever you wanted, for five million dollars. Would you have really given that money to the charity of his choice? Would you? Would you? I don't think you would, would you? You would have said that it was a fake, just like you did last time. And it would have gone yeah, under, you know, you would have, you know, not, you would have not worried about it, would you? Because you don't really want to give any charities five million dollars, let alone one chosen by Barack Obama. So, why are you doing this? Why are you constantly demanding that Barack Obama give you lots of his personal documentation? Are you trying to steal his identity? That's my question. Are you trying to steal his identity? What? No? You're not trying to steal his identity? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I've got, I've got a suggestion. Why don't you give me... Go, go to your doctor, go to your proctologist, and give me all of your proctologist records. Why? Because I think you're an asshole who requires some attention. No. No, you are going to have to do this. Or else I'm not going to give, like, um, I don't know, how much money do I have in my pocket? How much money do I have in my pocket? $3.25. I won't give $3.25 to a charity of your choice. And some Tic Tacs. $3.25 and some Tic Tacs to the charity of your choice. You don't want it. You don't want it, you say. You don't want to get your proctologist record out and, uh, and prove that you are not an asshole who wants um, lots of attention. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's see why you want all this attention, shall we? Could it be, could it be that you um, are a little bit jealous of Barack Obama? Because he is, uh, he, you were born like the son of a, a millionaire, a property developer, and he was like the, the, the son of a couple of students, one of whom pissed off that back to uh, Kenya. Isn't that it? Because you found that you were born to such wealth and all this privilege, and yet he becomes president of the United States, you know, despite being not wealthy and come, you know, somewhat black. That's it, isn't it? It's because he's black, isn't it? Because he's black. Yeah. I've got your number. Well, since you want so much attention, I'm going to give you such attention. I know, look, look, I know you're a, a millionaire. Yes, I said millionaire. Even though you like to describe yourself as a billionaire. No, you're a millionaire. I've got another B word for you though. What's that B word? What was that B word? Oh yes, bitch. Yes, that's right. You are Barack Hussein Obama's bitch. That's what you are, Donald J. Trump. You are Barack Obama's bitch. He is in the White House and you're just in your um, lovely, great, big penthouse apartment 
in New York and that ski lodge up the snow somewhere and that other place in Europe. Oh God! And I'm stuck at home. I want that money!